My name is Petar Radulovic. I'm engineering director for the Vahash program with Kalidus. The Vahash is a brand new design 8x8 vehicle, specifically designed for desert, so for UAE conditions. It is designed for 55 degrees ambient. All of our cooling system, uh, all of our components are rated for 55 degrees. It focuses heavily on protection and on mobility. So we have uh, very high levels of protection, ballistic and landmine. For uh, landmine protection, we are certified fully for uh, third party certified for level 4A and 4B. For ballistic protection, we are uh, fully certified for level 4, uh, but we have the, we've done tests for uh, even higher levels. Uh, the vehicle itself has many features. Uh, one of the features is um, the protected uh, windscreen for the driver, so we can uh, keep um, having a good field of view. The driver can have a good field of view while uh, being fully protected against level 4. Uh, we also have an armored visor that can be activated from inside of the vehicle and uh, moved uh, uh, up and down uh, so that uh, the level of protection can be increased. The vehicle from the mobility point of view uh, has a 724 horsepower engine. Uh, it has 724 horsepower Scania engine, seven speed forward to reverse uh, ZF transmission. The vehicle can reach 130 kilometers per hour top speed it can climb 70% uh, from the nose. We have an uh, engine bay compartment, which contains the what we call a power pack, engine, uh, engine transmission cooling pack. We also have a driver's compartment with a driver's cockpit or on the front left of the vehicle. In the back, there is something that is, uh, at the moment in this configuration, a turret uh, area, so the turret compartment, and then a crew compartment. The driver compartment, turret part, and the crew compartment is the single, it's a single volume of air, so it's a, it's a single area. The vehicle at the moment can fit inside 11 people in BMP3 configuration. It was built so that it can fit a BMP3 turret. In that configuration, it can fit driver, gunner and commander inside of the turret basket and eight dismounts in the back. In this configuration at the moment, we have a remotely controlled unmanned weapon turret. So we don't have the gunner and commander positions inside. The vehicle, as you can see, one of the characteristics for ballistic protection is the, the sides, which are at an angle. They are slow to reduce the mass of add-on armor that protects the vehicle. The amount of add-on armor that you can put on and achieve the same protection level. The Alva, the Vahash vehicle has uh, sides that are under a slope. This helps with the ballistic protection, so it reduces the amount of add-on armor that you need to put on the vehicle to achieve a certain level of protection. The vehicle has a monocoque hull, meaning that all of the components of the, of the, of the driveline are mounted directly to the hull. We don't have a subframe that is separately mounted. The difference between suspended and monocoque is that the, we don't have a subframe where the driveline is assembled separately from the vehicle. All of our driveline components are mounted on the vehicle. The vehicle is amphibious and uh, it can swim to up to 32.5 ton uh, weight. The thrusters are specifically designed for the Hush vehicle. They can achieve two tons of thrust in total, and they propel the vehicle in water to a maximum speed of between eight and 10 kilometers per hour, depending on the configuration. The transition mode uh, uh, for us, it, it depends on the current status of the vehicle before it goes to the land, but uh, we don't require to move out of the driver's cockpit. So all the crew uh, and the driver are fully protected, so they don't need to leave uh, the vehicle, and uh, everything is done by a press of a button. So so the vehicle automatically uh, performs the, the actions needed to prepare. So we have, a, we have a actuated uh, shutters for the louvers and air intakes, air outtakes and so on. The Hush vehicle has two fuel tanks on the rear side of the vehicle. Those are, this is something that we call two main fuel tanks and an emergency tank or a transfer tank inside of the vehicle which is protected. Uh, the two fuel tanks have a uh, around 320 liters of, of fuel in the back and 120 liters of fuel protected inside. The fuel tanks are covered with a, with a self-sealing layer, which can self-seal for up to 12.7 millimeter uh, shots. So the, the Vahash vehicle inside is uh, uh, split into two compartments, engine bay compartment and uh, protected fuel compartment. As you can see, the driver compartment is up in the front. That's the driver station with the three screens and the driver controls. In the middle, we have a room for the BMP3 turret. At the moment, we have unmanned turret 
mounted in, the, in this configuration. In the back, we are sitting in the crew compartment, which can fit eight dismount soldiers. The, the vehicle is designed to fit the BMP3 turret, which is a common UAE requirement. And of course, everything smaller than that is, is in the option. We can fit many, many turrets inside. It's a modular design. Uh, for the purpose of IDEX, we mounted a, a Ukrainian-made turret. Uh, it's, a, it's a turret which has a main weapon of 30 millimeter uh, gun. It has a coaxial 762 and 30 millimeter grenade launcher. It has two anti-tank missiles. The crew compartment that we're in has a false floor, meaning that the soldiers are not required to uh, put their feet on the footrests. Uh, they can be comfortable and put, place their feet in any uh, position they want and still be landmine protected. Uh, the crew compartment has two hatches in the back. These are configured in a way so that they can be rotated to open towards the outside or the inside of the, of the vehicle.